Okay, so here you asked to write a polynomial function that has zeros at 2 and at 1 plus i. Well, the first thing is that this 1 plus i should sort of, should sort of jump out at you because complex solutions always come in conjugate pairs. So if 1 plus i is a solution, that means, so that means that 1 also, 1 minus i is a solution. <clears throat> that has to be true. These always come in conjugate pairs. So, if 2 is a 0, we can write the factors out here. If 2 is a 0, that means x minus 2 is a factor. And if 1 plus i is a 0, that means x minus 1 plus i is a factor. We also know that 1 minus i is a 0, so that means x minus 1 minus i is a factor. And then we just multiply this all out. So it's best to concentrate on this multiplication first. And all you have to do is FOIL. Distribute. So we have x minus 2 out front, and then x times x, x squared, x times a negative 1 minus i is negative x times 1 minus i, and then negative 1 plus i times x is negative x times 1 plus i. And then negative 1 plus i times negative 1 minus i, that's positive 1 plus i, 1 minus i. Alright, so it looks kind of messy, but everything will be okay in the end. So we have to keep simplifying. Well, we still have this x minus 2 out front. We have x squared minus x, because I'm distributing, I'm going to distribute this negative x to this and to this. Same goes here. And then I'm going to end up foiling that. So I have minus x plus xi minus x minus xi plus, and I'm going to foil, 1 times 1 is 1 minus i plus i minus i squared. Alright, well, at this point we should look for things that cancel out. We have a positive xi and a negative xi. We have a negative i and a positive i. And then this negative i squared, remember that i squared equals negative 1. So a negative i squared is equal to a positive 1. So we can write this a little bit more simply. Yet, we have x minus 2, and then we have x squared. How many x's do we have? We have negative 1x and negative 2x's. And then we have this 1 plus 1. We figured that was plus 1. It is plus 2. All right. Looks a lot better already. And then finally we can multiply all this out. So x times x squared, x times negative 2x, x times 2, and it's negative 2 times. So distribute all that out. Well, x times x squared is x cubed, x times negative 2x, negative 2x squared, x times 2 plus 2x, negative 2 times x squared negative 2x squared, positive 4x, minus 4. And finally, we have f of x equal to x cubed, minus 2x squared, minus 2x, minus 4x squared, plus 2x, plus 4x, plus 6x, and minus 4. The end.